Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Captain Shane Healy from uh, City Salvos here in Adelaide on Peary Street. Last um, week I gave you a little introduction or some thoughts that I had around uh, the scriptural passages from John 20 uh, verses uh, 19 through to 29 or 31. And um, it was all around Thomas uh, and his doubt and sticking his hand in his side. Um, there was uh, lots of thoughts about Jesus breaking into a room with his disciples in peace uh, and, him, and, and the, the breath of uh, the Holy Spirit being breathing on them and them coming alive uh, in him. And, um, and, I, and I put the challenge out to everybody that was listening and, I, and, I, and to myself what that would look like if we outplayed that during the week. So, we, uh, so for this week, um, we saw some great things happen as a church. Um, we heard of some great things happen as a church. The junior soldiers got together um, for the first time and, and, and online and they had a great conversation um, for what it meant for proof of the resurrection. And they made these little uh, biscuits with Easter eggs on them and, and little crosses and, um, and they really engaged with what, um, what it meant to have a, a risen saviour. Um, I had uh, some, someone drop off, an anonymous person drop off um, some cards, a whole pack of cards, um, and more of these actually, not just this one, but this is an example, um, so that we could give these out to other people to spread the love and care. Um, just a, something that was laid on her heart from God to do. Um, we've seen phone calls being made, I've had people ring up saying I want some addresses so I can write letters to, these, uh, to people. Um, we've had new Bible studies, some uh, take on this uh, discipleship experiment that we're doing. And it's been really, it's been an interesting week as far as pastors to hear this stuff. It's been really cool and exciting. For me personally, um, we did uh, an Anzac Day service uh, for our neighbours. Um, and it wasn't perfect by any means, uh, but it was a lot of fun and also a great way to connect with our neighbours. And I heard that many of you uh, did the same thing. Ours happened to be actually sponsored by Woolworths uh, halfway through thanks to YouTube and so um, that was just a little error and, and people saw the, the, the lightness in that as well as the deep respect that we had for our fallen soldiers and for those who are still serving today. So for us as a church we're also starting to have to look at some making some hard decisions. You know, uh, We're all being affected by COVID-19 and and some of the reality of that's coming to pass, uh, finances and all that sort of stuff. And so we're having as a church to sit and make some really tough decisions what the future might look like. And the message that I got from God this week personally was that message of peace. Uh, I really felt that God was saying, you know, like things will look different and that's okay. Things look different for the disciples 2000 years ago, but I want you to have my peace. And not only do I want you to have my peace, actually I want you to see that when things are different and when you trust me, that's when things can come alive. Uh, so often as a church we talk about revival. Uh, we talk about seeing numbers grow again. I wonder if we talk about trusting God, uh, placing, placing our full trust into him to, to the unknown, to what it is to step outside of that boat, um, to open that door rather than staying hidden away. What is it? to truly trust God so that then we can become alive, um, so that revival uh, will happen again and we'll become full of the Holy Spirit and trusting in Him. So uh, I'd ask that you'd pray for us as a church. I'd ask that you pray for each individual uh, of our congregation um, and also if that God would um, become alive in you as you continue to minister to your communities uh, as, as you be the church. This week, um, we're looking at the passage from John again, just the next one over, from John 21, 1 through to uh, 14. And this is when uh, Jesus comes along on the beach side and, and, and has this miraculous catch of fish uh, with his disciples. So I ask you to, to read it, to pray over it, uh, read it again slowly if you need to, find some observations and some applications, and then put one of them into practice. Uh, even in a small way, and, and see what God's saying to you, and have some fun. Uh, remember, it's okay to fail. Uh, it's not failure. If you make a mistake, it's just we need to try again. And so um, enjoy, uh, have a good one, and may God bless you each. Thank you for tuning in.